The Speaker of the Representatives Council for the Year Zainal affirmed the keenness to harness energies and intensify efforts to translate the directives of His Majesty the King within broad frameworks of cooperation and coordination between the legislative and executive authorities, which are increasingly progressing and expanding with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Zainal expressed the pride of the Parliament and all its members and the royal praise of His Majesty the King during his chairmanship of the Cabinet meeting. She noted that the directives of His Majesty the King are the roadmap for national parliamentary action and that the support of His Royal Highness is an essential basis for effective cooperation that achieves the aspirations and desired goals for the country and citizens. Zainal affirmed that the Representatives Council renewed their pledge and loyalty to His Majesty the King to move forward and take firm steps in achieving aspirations and cooperation with the government. The Speaker of the Representatives Council for the Yazina Health Talks with her Indonesian counterpart, Pan Maharani, on the sidelines of the Parliamentary Division's participation in the Interparliamentary Union General Assembly. Zainal affirmed her keenness to consolidate cooperation and coordination between Bahrain and Indonesia, expressing pride in the development and growth of the bilateral relations as a result of the support of His Majesty the King and the Indonesian President. Zainal hailed the efforts of the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to strengthen partnership and cooperation with Indonesia. For her part, Maharani expressed deep pride in the growing Bahrain-Indonesian relations and the high levels of cooperation and joint coordination. The Speaker of the Representatives Council for the Yazinal attended the meeting of the IPU High Level Advisory Group on Countering Terrorism and Violent Extremism. Zainal called for the establishment of a global conference to examine the extent to which international legislation and laws related to combating violence, terrorism, and extremism are harmonized. She affirmed that parliaments are required to consider legislation and laws related to combating terrorism and work to update and develop them, especially in regards to the methods that threaten international peace and security. She noted that the phenomena of terrorism, violence and extremism are cross-border crimes which calls for more cooperation and coordination between countries. The second deputy of the Representatives Council, Ali Zayed, chaired the weekly meeting where the council approved a draft law on acquiring the cost of establishing and developing infrastructure and construction areas. The council also approved a draft resolution regarding the BCCI and another report regarding establishing a rehabilitation center for those who are about to marry. The Council then approved four reports on opening offices in the ports of the Kingdom of Bahrain affiliated with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to certify all transactions, conducting a mandatory ex medical examination for domestic workers upon their arrival in the Kingdom of Bahrain, electricity support for civil councils and raising the limit of the source of family income from 600 to 800 Bahraini dinars.